Okay, now we're going to take a look at um, the uh, these motives, these circles with the letters A, B, C, and let's uh, this plus sign. You'll see the uh, the hint create a new motive for this section, so we can have D, E, F, G. I think that's it. H. Okay, that's it. So A, B, C, D. Yeah, eight. Um, you can have up to eight motives. Okay. Now, uh, let's go through these and see. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. It's a whole note C. Here's the third one. And as you can see, they're different. And and which is and very importantly, are the colors are different. Okay. Now, notice that this horizontal bar, the whole thing turns the same color as the notes in the grid, right? So if I hit B, the color for B is this uh, light blue color, this sky blue color. Okay, the color for A, uh, what would you call this, uh, rose or pink? I'm not sure. Uh, but I think these these colors are are fixed by the way so a is always the notes are always going to be this color and the uh, and the bar is always going to be you know the same and and this kind of you know just helps you distinguish between different motives when you start to have a lot more bars um, you can easily see by the color like you know which motives are the same in like let's say you had 16 bars and you use um, the mode of A in in you know in four of those bars or something like that uh, well you could see, quickly see that just by the color okay I think that's the idea and it's, it's a very it's a beautiful concept and uh, yeah so anyway uh, all these uh, all these motives are different. When you create a motive, it's there's a randomness to it, uh, which you can control. By the way, we'll get into that. Uh, but they're all different. So let's look. We got A, we got B, we got C, we got D, and uh, you can see actually some of them end up being the same. So I misspoke. Uh, e. Is a, a whole note on G. Let's go back. Where do we have the other? Okay, so motive D was a whole note on C, but motive F was a whole note on G. So yeah, they're different. I mean, the rhythm is the same. Uh, e and F are the same, right? They're both whole note Gs. Yep. Yeah. And then G is the same, and uh, H is the same, okay? But we do have, uh, what, two different ones? Or at least two, one with a different rhythm, okay? Okay, so let's add a bar, and uh, let's choose mode of E. Okay, let, now let's do G. Okay, so I can go up here, and if I select G, I get the same exact motive. So think of it from a, a musical point of view, because this is often uh, what you're going to do when you're making melodies. The, uh, the material in bar 1, uh, you're going to replicate uh, more or less in bar 2, but you're going to apply a variation to it. So that's what this uh, beautiful system uh, is designed to let us do quickly, okay? It's designed to give us like eight possible uh, pieces of clay, okay? Like motives, that's what they're called, eight motives. And we can plug them into any bar we want, the same motive into any bar we want. And then we can just uh, change them. So the motive in bar 2 
and bar 4 uh, might both be C, motive C, okay? Uh, like, like that, okay? But, uh, but we're going to change, we're going to change them, or not, you know? But the important thing to do is to, uh, in fact, let's add a couple of measures here. Okay, so let's say um, our first motive is A, and our s in bar 2 we've got C, okay? Now we want to uh, repeat, because repetition is, is key to, to music, uh, we want to repeat the motive A in the third bar. That would be a typical, a typical melody, right? But we're going to vary the mode of A a little bit. And how do we do that? Well, one of the simple, simplest ones is just a little transposition. So we can go over here, and we've got this, we can, this little transposition, transposition, and instead of going from E to, to C, we could go from G to E, okay? So that would be our change, okay? So we've duplicated the motive in A, so you can see A is highlighted in bar 1 and bar 3. We've got the same raw material, but we've transposed the raw material in bar 3 a little bit. And, you know, and that's that's the bread and butter of, of uh, melody. Okay, let's play that, by the way. Oh, for some reason, uh, I don't know if it's this OBS software or, or what, but I think it's my audio drivers. Uh, I'm not able to uh, play, which is a shame. I'll see if I can figure that out. But in any event, uh, you get the idea. So there's all kinds of uh, ver simple variations we can do in here, and uh, there's just so much we can do. But, uh, you know, one of the... Uh, I think it's important to see that one of the... Uh, awesome things about this melody editor is how this basic operation of transposing notes is just so clear and easy. I mean, not only uh, is it easy, you just go to this single little gizmo here and just drag it up and down and you can see what's happening so clearly. You know, there's zero, so no transposition, and you can see the notes change, and you can see it land on the five and three where you want. And then up here, like it tells you uh, that you've transposed the note uh, by two scale degrees. And by the way, uh, I should mention uh, the transposition is by scale degree, okay? So when you move a note, uh, normal transposition is chromatic, okay, unless the software is doing the work for you and and keeps your notes within the scale. Uh, when you move a note up and down, I mean, it'll, you know, it goes by half steps, so it's a chromatic move. But here in the melody editor, as, you know, you would expect, I think, from uh, something like this software... It's, it's by scale degree. So you don't have to worry when you're dragging the notes up and down that, you know, you're, you're out of scale. Or, and you don't have to go and do something in the software like confined to scale like you have to do in a lot of DAWs. Uh, you know, it's just much simpler. It's, you know, you don't have to worry about any of that. You just go in and, you know, move the notes up and boom. Okay? All right. So, uh, all right, so we have bar one, uh, and in that bar we have uh, motive A. Bar three, we've got motive A, we've, we, we've transposed. Bar two, we've got C. So let's say just for kind of symmetry, in bar three, we, we put C2. Okay, we could do that. Or, uh, you know, we could go to D or any of these, right? We can select any one we want. And again... Notice the color coding that I mentioned. Uh, it's just beautiful because when the motives now, you know, here the colors are the same. So just by seeing that they're the, I can look at this melody 
and see immediately that the motive, the raw material in bars one, two, and three are is the same. The raw material in all three bars is exactly the same because they're the same color, but they don't exactly look the same, right? I mean, bars one and bars four look the same, but bar three looks different. However, this color coding is giving us that beautiful clue that all we've done is a slight variation in bar three. And, and this is, uh, you know, this is powerful stuff. Uh, you don't get this, you know, uh, I mean, if you're good at reading music, at sheet music, as, you know, you get this, I guess, after years of doing it, you know, this jumps out at you. But, I mean, I don't see how it could be, you know, jump out, jump out at you any, any better than what this software is doing, okay? Because it's instantaneous. I mean, the color uh, is just right there, and it's telling you that these are all based on the same motive. So that right there is, is just a beautiful innovation. Uh, I can't, I can't. I'm I'm really over the moon about this. Um, okay. All right. So uh, we've chosen in bar four. You see the four up here. We've chosen uh, the mode of A. So what you can see is we we've got the mode of A in all three except the second bar. We've got uh, mode of C. Okay. All right. Uh, let's stop there for now and. Uh, We'll continue with this idea in the next video. Okay? See see you till see you next time.